Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carr. In today's video, I'm gonna be making a home mortgage calculator. So I got really interested in the idea when I was going through Google and I saw that they had like this, um, I've, seen similar, I've seen similar things with their uh, conversion calculator and this seemed like a pretty cool project to try to do in C++. It's one of the projects or programming languages that I'm trying to learn. I think this was a nice and simple way to, to do that. So I just looked up the formula and how to do it. So for this, I made sure to use the same inputs to compare with my code. And I looked up for the exact formula, how to get it, because I'm not gonna be honest, I don't know how to exactly calculate this. So I actually used this link right here to get the exact formula, which is highlighted right here. So no worries, I wanna make sure to include this link in my source code and also GitHub link in my uh, C++ code so that you guys can look at it, review it, and see how I did it. So obviously it's not the most perfect C++ code, but it's gonna be fun, and we're gonna improve as we do it. So let's go straight to the IDE and get started. So I know with this formula, if you look at it deeply, there is also a power or to the power calculation. So we're definitely gonna be using two libraries or directives for sure in this project. One of them is being IO stream because I'm gonna be asking whoever uses this script to input certain information like the principal or the amount of the mortgage. I'm gonna be asking them the rate that they can expect. So two libraries that do this in C++ are IO stream and CMath. I'm gonna use the STD or standard namespace I'm gonna create my main main function. So I usually, when I code this, make sure to just get this out of the way. So the things I'm gonna be asking for from the user of the script is to make sure that they're giving me the principal. And I'm basically setting a, or initializing, not initializing, but declaring doubles for each one of these because I'm gonna be doing a lot of dividing, multiplication, and formulas. So. The, the double is the best type for this particular problem. So I want to ask the user the principal, the amount of months, which is going to default to 12, the rate, so their interest rate. So maybe it's 3%, maybe 6%, maybe it is some other decimal. I'm going to ask them a down payment percentage. So for example, most home mortgages in the U United States are about 20%. Maybe it's lower, maybe it's higher, but it lets us know how much we can knock off the principal. And then obviously with the years, we're going to be asking them what type of mortgage they have. Typically in the United States, again, it is 15 to 30 years. I'm also going to have a Boolean called down payment percentage entered. Because I'm going to, not every part of this code, I'm going to be testing for user input. But I just want to showcase that you can use a while loop to you know keep asking a user of the script the same question until they enter a correct input. So in this case, I'm going to be asking them to actually add a value that is above 0, 0.0 and below 1.0, which would indicate 100%. And then I'm going to initialize the months to 12 because in this formula it always goes to 12. I'm going to start the C out. So this is basically the character output uh, stream. It's gonna go, and I'm gonna ask, please enter principal amount as an example, $330,000. I'm also gonna add a new line so it's readable for the user of the script. C in is character input stream, and I'm gonna attach that to the principal variable. This is where I'm talking about where I can use a bool, so down, uh, not down payment. So it initializes to false if you don't declare anything. So down payment percentage entered. And basically I'm gonna keep asking the, the user of the script the same question until they have filled that out. So in this case, I'm gonna be asking them down payment percentage between 0% and 100%. Please enter between 0, 0.0 and 1.0, and then new line there. So if this keeps on failing, then it's gonna keep asking the same question. And then we're gonna have their down payment percentage be from their input, and then we just do a simple check if it's greater or equal to zero, and it is 
down payment percentage less than or equal to 1.0. So why do I have these? Well, there might not be a down payment. So zero is fine, 100%, maybe they just paid it all off and they don't need any monthly payments. But once this is initiated, actually we don't even need this uh, parentheses open and close. I can actually just set this to down payment entered equals true. So that will go outside there. After that's done, I'm gonna make sure that the principal is set itself to the principal minus the down payment. Minus the principal times down payment percentage. So for example, if it's 20% and you have $100,000, this principal is gonna be set to $80,000. The next question I'm gonna ask is, what interest rate? So for example, is it 2%, 3%, 6%, or some smaller or more precise decimal? Please enter as decimal, 6% is or should be 0 0.06. So obviously you might be able to tell that if someone would input a string, this would fail. I'm not taking that into consideration for this script because it's just a nice simple script, but this is something you should consider in your normal day-to-day -day job. So I'm gonna get the character input for rate. And then finally, how many years is your mortgage? And then a new line there too. Once we have all that information, we can actually create our helper function. So one of them is going to be able to calculate the monthly payments. So what we're going to be paying on the principal and interest combined, and then also the total cost of the mortgage. Luckily for the total cost of the mortgage, we can get that from getting the monthly payments times the amount of months, which is 12 times the mortgage period. In this case, 30, it might be 15, it depends on what the user inputs. So we're gonna get a double from these monthly payments. And I'm gonna call this helper function calculate monthly payments. It's gonna accept the principal, the months, no, the rate, the months, and the year. And it's gonna return a double as specified by this variable right here. So we're gonna have a double of principal, a rate, a double rate, double of year months, and double of years. So what's the formula? Well, I just got this formula again from this article right here, which again, I will link below, but we can break that down into a numerator and denominator we can divide in our code. So I'm gonna say that the monthly payments formula, I'm gonna put it right here, then I'm also going to add the source of this formula. Okay, so why am I uh, going to set two variables, a numerator and denominator? Because it can get a little tricky if you try to do this in one line, so I just wanna make sure this is nice and simple and clean, divided by denominator. Actually, we're gonna need that specified with the parentheses. But essentially, this right here is gonna be the numerator, and this right here is gonna be the denominator. So basically, uh, this P is the principal, this R is the rate, this N is the number of months, and this T is the number of years. So I can kind of just uh, split that up. So actually, if I wanted to, I can just be numerator and then denominator. Denominator, okay. All right, cool. So this would look like in code like this. I'd have the principal times the rate divided by months times, oops, times pow. So why this, well, we need the power of. So in this case, uh, one plus R divided by N to the power of N times T. 
So this would like look like in code like this, rate divided by months, and then the second value is to the power of, so that'd be months times years. And then the denominator would be pow to the one plus rate divided by months, and the second value would be months times years. You can see that little one outside of it. So all I have to do outside of here Oh, make sure, okay, minus one. Make sure I got everything. Make sure that this corresponding parentheses. And then finally, like I was saying, once you have the monthly payments, you know, easily cal uh, calculate the total cost by just doing that monthly payments times the months times the years. So you can have double calculate total cost of mortgage. So double monthly payments, double months, double years. And it's just a simple calculation of return monthly payments times months times years. Okay, from there, now that I have my monthly payments, now I can return that to the user. So monthly payments is equal to this dollars, oops, this dollars. And I have the new line ending it as well. So it's nice and clean for the user. And then the C out with the total cost is gonna call that function, the helper function we just created. So calculate total cost of mortgage, monthly payments, months, and then years. And make sure, <laughs> Okay, one thing I have to make sure is that this is outside of the down payments thing. So that would have caused an error. So now that I'm back here, we can test our code. So let me just make sure this is all indented correctly. Looks right to me. So how do we compile this? Well, within this finance project, uh, make sure I'm in the right folder. Now that I'm at that, I can do G++ dash O, whatever I want to call it. I'm going to call this mortgage for the file that's going to be compiled. And then it's going to be mortgage. Okay, so I misspelled years right here. Let's see what other errors might be occurring. Oh, and I have this as an accident. So that'd be a character literal. We want string literals for every one of these strings we're creating. Okay, make sure I got this right, pow. CMath, pow. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so these parentheses are a little tricky. Make sure I got that right. I think we do. Okay, so I just gotta make sure that this is correct. So principal R divided by N, so R divided by months times POW one plus rate divided by months. And then we just need one closing parentheses here. Okay, let's try this again. Now if we call mortgage, Please enter amount. So just like I used in the calculator in Google, I'm gonna put the same amount. I'm gonna say the down, well, let me show you an incorrect value. So it's gonna be 110%, that's not possible. So I'm gonna just do 20%. Then I'm gonna do, well, what interest rate did I use? I used, I believe, 3.0%. So that would be shown as this. And then how many years, 30 years, just like that calculator. Oh, and it returns zero. So now we can just do a little bit of debugging and see where we went wrong. 
principal rate. Okay, well, no worries. I have my code already coded. So it's probably just some closing error right here. So I'm just gonna paste it over. It was, it was a parentheses error. So let me just recompile this. So same values. Same down payment, and you can see with that while loop, if I added the incorrect one, it would keep on asking me till I got the right one, and then 30 years. Okay, still, so it's still returning zero. Let's make sure I'm doing this code correctly. So I'm gonna just make sure <laughs> I'm typing this right. But yeah, I have gotten this to work myself. This is the code I written earlier, so I'm just retyping it. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to be showing you what it looks like working. And then the same down payment, the same 3.05% interest, and then finally the 30-year mortgage. Oh, it's still causing some issues. Okay. So this is interesting. All right, let me just make sure. Okay. Okay. Then we do a 20% down payment. It should be 0305. That's what the issue was. And then from there, it'd be 30 years. Yep, and this is uh, the value we get from the Google calculator and also the other calculator in, I think, the bankrate.com. So our total amount of mortgage is gonna be uh, 403,000. So that is, uh, I wanna say, roughly $73,000 above principal. And our monthly payments are gonna be this. So we can verify it right here, same values. And also with the mortgage calculator, same value roughly as well. So this is a pretty cool, fun project. I would recommend anybody just uh, create similar functions, especially when you're learning a new language. For me, this is C++, learning a lot of cool things on how to do this. And then for you, it might be Python, it might be JavaScript, it might be Java. Uh, just do these fun little projects. This took me maybe 30 minutes to do, 45 minutes. Uh, and of course, there were errors and I worked through it, but you'll learn a lot about the language that you're studying. So thank you guys for joining and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.